Hello world, J. Bob the video game slob coming back at ya. It is late spring, but I already feel like we are deep in the middle of summer uh, because I am so far behind on my pickup videos um, and processing and selling some things. So um, quick update to the front end of this video. I do want to dig deeper into the $1,700 flea market buy um, from the previous video. Uh, right now, I sold some Legos on Sunday. I shipped two orders Monday. I got two orders going out Tuesday. So hopefully that trend continues. I'm selling two things a day, getting things listed, uh, trying to make moves. But I still got to test all those systems. Um, and I work my second job here coming up too. So I, could, I just got a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's also election night coming up. So I'm not even going to have my nights free because I got to have uh, election night things going on too. So anyway, a uh, fifteen dollar three sixty buy, and a eBay bucks mail day. So uh, very glad to check off another you know mid range um, NES game. I've never played Uninvited. This is one of those games that just has fantastic cover art. Has always been uncommon, a little pricey. So very happy to get this. Um, stoked to check that out. Not really sure um, what that's about. Maybe by the time this video comes out. Um, I can get you something on that, but uh, that's kind of what I picked up. Um, Lego Batman, That's there's nothing special about that. Um, I did think, I was like, man, I got, I got this Lego Lord of the Rings, don't I? Um, so that's this copy, and then I realized when I was putting this together, this copy has this special thing right here, includes bonus movies, so my copy uh, has a DVD in it, which is pretty cool. Um, so other than that, you got some Modern Warfares, you know, nothing special there. Um, Dead Space, hoping the video game store owner wants. Um, anything um, with these slip covers, I'm always game for. This has two variants. Look at how nice that looks. Um, and so I don't think I have that slip cover version. Again, I don't think I have this particular embossed, and it feels great. Um, Legendary Skyrim, so that's pretty cool. Um... Everything else in here, pretty standard. The Borderlands. The Game of the Year is pretty cool, but I already have the Game of the Year. Um, Oblivion, the local game store needed an Oblivion, and so that was kind of the main source to pick this up. And then um, some Lego Star Wars and a Mass Effect 3. So people have been putting these Mass Effects together, uh, making lots and selling those. So um, always good to have more Mass Effect games. So there it is. Um, that's the start of this video. I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, but I do know I have Friday off work. I'm going to do some community garage sales Friday. And as of right now, I have a deal lined up for Friday as well. I'm not entirely sure that that's going to come through. Uh, but if that one pops through, I'll take you on the ride, YouTube. Uh, keep on grinding. Well, World J. Bob, the video game slab coming back at you. Uh, just a small garage sale outing today. Um, real close, real in town. Uh, just wanted to show you. Uh, the few things I picked up let you know kind of what I paid. Um, so Sonic is hot in the news with this new movie. Um, so I picked up, uh, you know, fairly big. I mean, you can see hand for size there. Um, Sonic for a dollar. Uh, picked up this little naked toad dude for 25 cents. I paid 75 cents for the Mario Bros. Amiibo. Um, I'm guessing he's going to be for sale. I don't think I'm going to keep Amiibos. I haven't collected any yet, and... Uh, don't see myself collecting them. Pikachu with the movie launching uh, this weekend. Uh, probably the best time to off him for the quarter I paid is now. Uh, this is really fun. Um, has all the accessories. Uh, Tungsten WI710 Palm Pilot um, with the dock and charging bay and all that kind of stuff. So I got that for free out of a free bin and I have that posted online. I'll let you know if it sells by this video or sells ever. I'm not sure it ever will. Um, a little Lord of the Rings Fantasy Flight games. Again, I don't keep board games not related to video games, but this will go down to the local game store. I'm sure he can use that. Uh, paid a buck each for all this stuff. Uh, Fable 3 has a little DLC insert. Uh, two disc, four film, um, Superman, Tommy Boy. The local game store said... Uh, he was looking for copies of Tommy Boy, uh, Ghostbusters, always a hit down there. Again, He-Man, super big nostalgia, and Star Trek is usually something the nerds want, and this just sort of has five discs and uh, all sorts of different stuff on there, so a pretty good deal for a dollar, I felt. So 
Uh, just short, little two minute. That's what I picked up in a very quick, I don't know, five garage sale, something like that today. So um, real small, but there you go. That's what I found. Talk to you later, YouTube. Hello world, J Bob the video game slob back at ya. Um, so this is definitely a piecemeal video here. Um, just kind of wanted to update. Oh man, what is the uh, direction on that? There we go. Um, just got the limited uh, runs game um, coming in, Dragon Fantasy, so um, haven't had a chance to bust this one open yet, but anytime there's a dungeon crawler or anything like that, I um, like to pick those up. And so RPGs, that kind of stuff, shoot 'em ups are really the only thing I'm getting from Limited Run or any of these people anymore, so oh, there you go, losing my card. Uh, didn't get a you know gold card, didn't get a, a printing plate this time, but... Uh, Decent game there as the uh, Vita continues to be, um, you know, uh, hard to collect for. It just doesn't seem to want to die, and all these limited run games keep coming out, whether it's from Limited Run or any of the other people. Um, game Store Guy hooked me up with this. I did not have the uh, box for 13 so that's pretty cool. It just blows my mind that people used to pay $7.99 for 10 demos. Granted, they're playable demos, but man, that's crazy, so... Uh, there you go. Added that to the collection for free. And he also said, do you have this? Uh, oh, man, can't get the camera to focus on this at all. Um, you know, this little Mario uh, toy or whatever. So I said, nope. So there you go. I got that for free. And uh, another one of these. I think I already have this, but I don't know if I have it in uh, translucent blue, I guess you'd call that. So there you go. Those are some free pickups. Um uh, this will all be shot out of order, but I'm doing some garage sailing. I have a Friday off all by myself, so I am going out in the morning to do some uh, sales before I hit the garage sale, and uh, so hopefully I'll have plenty of cash in the pocket to uh, head on out and find some cool things. So be on the lookout for that cool episode coming up. All right, so this is super out of sequence here. But I just want to say, what in the heck is up with Dynasty Warriors 3? Uh, I probably picked this up in a future video, so I don't know if this will get uploaded in the timeline or not. Uh, but I know I'm a few minutes short on this video, and I always like to get to 10 minutes. And Dynasty Warriors 3 with the white? What is going on here? And it's not an issue of being um, an American copy. It is. It's NTSC. But really, duh. What is going on? Um, so, Dynasty Warriors 3, you're on notice. What is going on with you? Let me know in the comments if you have any idea what this is.